Haha, -ha, welcome to the Simple Simon YouTube channel. Today, young Simple Simon is going to be talking about My Hero Academia. Big pins. Like this one, of me. Dude, that's the wrong All Might voice. That's powerful All Might, and a terrible one. Get out of here. I am so sorry about that intro, it was terrible. Um, with Madfest all wrapped up uh, this past weekend, I thought I'd stay on the topic of anime and uh, talk about the only anime I really watch, which is My Hero Academia. Academia? I used to always say Academia and all of a sudden I've started saying Academia. What is it? Please let me know. I thought I'd show off just some of the um, collectible things I picked up recently um, that are My Hero Academia related uh, and just talk about the characters um, that I have picked up. So, first, Fig Pins. Um, I picked up four of these fig pins, they're very cool, uh, and I'm just going to talk about the four characters that I picked up. First, went with All Might, um, who doesn't love All Might, right? So he's the number one superhero. Now, for those who don't know about this anime, um, All Might is basically the world's number one hero. Um, however, he basically be has to become that. His true form is actually a very frail, weak man, um, but basically when he has enough strength, he basically turns into this just muscle-bound action hero. Now the thing everyone loves about All Might is obviously he's just always got a smile on his face and he's always a very cheery, cheerful person. I guess it's a different take on you know, you, your superheroes who are always, you know, all serious and stuff like that. All Might is the num world's number one hero and he is just a happy, happy person. So everyone loves All Might. His personality is just absolutely infectious. All right, next we've got Bakugo, the angry kid. I can kind of relate to um, because I used to be a very, very angry boy myself. But um, I guess when I first started watching the show, I really disliked Bakugo because it's, it's essentially he's the bully. It was hard to sort of relate to Bakugo in the beginning, but as time went on, he sort of grows on you because you realize, you know, the, that's the funny side of him, that he basically just, the tiniest things just, you know, he just starts fuming over it. So eventually so he grows on you because he also shows that he does have superhero qualities. It's just that, you know, He's just an angry, angry boy. Um, looks wise, he is one of the cooler looking characters too. He's got these giant grenades on his hands. For those who don't know anything about My Hero Academia, it's basically about the world where, oh, I can't remember, is it like 80% of the world or something, um, are born with sort of some sort of power. Uh, and there's a small percentage basically that are just regular humans. Bakugo's power is basically his sweat produces explosive stuff. Um, so basically he wears these grenades on his hands to build up um, a, basically a large amount of this sweat uh, so he can then basically blast it out in you know doses. So yeah that is Bakugo. Next we've got Shoto Todoroki. Uh, he's probably one of the bigger fan favorites of the show. Uh, people like him because he's cool. Now I discovered My Hero Academia because of this character Todoroki. So obviously I've got half red hair, it's probably pink right now. But um, one time I was at a supermarket and I was at the deli and this girl was staring at me and I was like, are you okay? And she said, do you watch anime? And I was like, no. And she said, you have the same hair as my favorite anime character. And I was like, okay. Um, and then I asked my friend Tony who uh, is very into anime and said, apparently there's a character who has half red hair. And he said, Todoroki from My Hero Academia. And I was like, oh, I should check out this show. And I just absolutely fell in love with it. So Todoroki basically is the whole reason um, I gravitated towards the show because, you know, we, we have something in common. His father is the world's number two hero after All Might. Um, he basically, is called, his name is Endeavor. And his power is that he's basically the fire guy. He can basically shoot flames and fire at things. Now his mother, her power was she could have the ability to freeze things. So Todoroki basically has half, half hair because half of his body can turn things to ice. And the other half is basically his father's power, which is fire. He's literally probably one of the most popular characters in the show because he just has this cool about him. You know, he has this grudge against his dad because his dad was always um, kind of mean to him growing up. So yeah, he never really wants to take his dad's advice because he's just like, I don't respect you sort of thing. I just want to do this my way. But yeah, to be honest, he is a very, very cool character. Um, everyone loves Todoroki. 
Okay, last vape pin is of course Izuku Midoriya, known as Deku. Deku is basically the main character of the show. Deku is one of the few, that small percentage of people in the world who was born without a gift, uh, without a power. He um, basically has been a fan of superheroes his whole life. He loves, or he, he's loved All Might since he was a little boy, and he basically dreamed of the day of being a hero himself. But then, basically what happens in this world is they take you to the doctor and the doctor tells you what your power is, or if you don't have one, and basically, it's a very emotional scene, I think, when Deku first gets taken to the Doctor and the Doctor tells his mum that, yep, Deku does not have a power. He gets all teary and literally, I remember just watching that for the first time and getting all emotional. I was like, oh no kid, you don't have a power, no! Deku, for me, and I think for a lot of people who watch the show, is probably the most relatable character. He wants to be the, a hero himself. And um, basically what happens is he inherits a power from, spoiler alert, quick turn it off. He inherits powers from All Might and basically is becomes All Might's prodigy essentially. The thing I think people relate and well, how I relate to Deku is he, he wants to be great. He wants to be the best hero. However, he's always very unsure of himself. He's not, he's not the most confident kid. Um, he's always doubting himself, but he just has that drive to learn and want to get better. So, you know, I think a lot of people can relate to Deku as a character. We all aspire to greatness, but you know, um, a lot of us are obviously not that confident and um, sometimes, you know, struggle to believe in ourselves. Originally, this video was just gonna be about those pig pins, but because I went to Madfest this weekend, um, I actually picked up two more little things and I may as well show you. Um, I picked up two little mini figs um, and we'll talk about these characters too and we're gonna unbox them. Woo! This is Froppy. Froppy <laughs> pretty much does what a frog can do. Um, ah, also, if you're watching this video and you are a big anime fan, please leave in the comments something I'd really like to know. Do you prefer to watch anime in its original Japanese format, language, or do you prefer the English dub? I really want to know um, what people say about that because I know a lot of anime fans always prefer the Japanese version. Um, me, myself, I, I'm all about fun and <laughs> things like that. Um, so I find the English version to me is more appealing because the Japanese versions are fine, but I find the tone is always more serious in uh, Jap when you watch it in Japanese. When you watch it in English, it's just ridiculous uh, and over the top. And I actually much prefer that. It just makes me laugh a lot more. So yeah, leave in the comments what you prefer. Anyway. Back to Robbie. Uh, she's a very fun character because she's basically a frog. Uh, she has this long tongue that shoots out and um, there's just moments, she's always got a tongue like hanging out of her mouth. Uh, there's a lot of very funny moments uh, with this character. But let's unbox this, eh? I often keep mo a lot of my toys in their boxes, but when you can't see them, I mean, you have to take it out of the box, right? All right, where's my magical Stanley knife? Stanley knife. That's not a Stanley knife. I couldn't find my Stanley knife, so we're using this. Ah! I've never actually picked up a figurine from this series. They kind of look cool. Ooh. Dun, 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 dun. Ribbit, ribbit. There she is. She is such a fun character. Did I drop something? I heard something hit the ground. I feel like I dropped something, but I don't see anything on the ground, so I'm gonna assume that it didn't. All right, how does this work? How does this work? I did drop something. Look at that. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh, focus. Yeah, she's pretty cool. I like it. All right, next is Minoru Mineta, also known as Grape Juice. Now, Grape Juice, I'm just gonna call him. His powers are weird. He has these balls on his head and basically he can grab them off the top of his head and throw them at things and they like stick to things. Yeah, that's his power. Out of all the characters in My Hero Academia, there's a lot of fun characters, but he makes me laugh the most. He's basically the perverted one. There's just some of the things he has said on this show which just make me laugh so hard. Um, so yeah, I actually love grape juice. Now remember kids, always cut away from the body to avoid accidents. Oh, he looks pretty cool too. <laughs> I'm holding onto him by the balls of his head. Look at him. See those balls on his head? Oh, can't really. See those balls on his head? 
he'll throw them at you and they will stick to you and you'll be annoyed and then he'll say something perverted and run off. <laughs> All right guys, that's today's video. Um, thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. If you're new to my channel, please give the video a like if you um, enjoyed it and also subscribe. Obviously, um, I make videos about comic books, toys and nerd stuff and I release videos like there's no tomorrow. Check out my social media stuff, my Facebook, my Instagram, follow me on there to uh, just keep up to date with all my uh, shenanigans. And um, yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, Keep it simple and plus ultra.